Hello everybody, welcome to the Jamaican Archives 876 YouTube page. Today we're going to discuss the story of the SS Princess Anne Victoria Louise and the unique role that Jamaican played in her story. We all know about the Titanic, that big shipwreck that happened in 1912. But did you know that there was a shipwreck that happened prior to that in 1906? And did you know that Jamaica played a role in that story? It all started in 1886 when Albert Ballin joined a steamship company called the H-A-P-A-G. In 13 years, he became the managing director of that company in 1899. And it was at this time that he realized something. The ships laid mostly unused during the winter months. Passengers did not want to travel around the North Atlantic due to the inclement weather. He came up with an idea. Instead of traveling around the North Atlantic, why not take the ships on pleasure voyages to warmer climates, namely the Mediterranean and the Orient. He decided that on these pleasure voyages, at each port of call, there would be well-planned excursions. He himself was a passenger on the early phases of these pleasure voyages, and he realized that it was very, very successful. Balin's idea of the pleasure voyages were growing increasingly successful. People were signing up for it in droves. In the late 1800s, more and more of these voyages started to happen. This really was the precursor to what we know today as the cruise. Very early on though, he noticed that there was a problem. The ships that were being used were originally constructed as ocean liners and as such, they did not have all the fittings and trimmings for the passenger who was really going out there to have a good time. There were very few amenities on board. That became extremely apparent when you had to be at sea for long stretches of time. People got bored because there was nothing to do. Also, there was very little deck space and the little deck space that was there was mostly covered because it was designed to deal with the rough waters of the Northern Atlantic and not the more smoother waters of the southern climates. He decided that the answer would be to build a ship specifically designed for these pleasure voyages. At this point, they were being called excursions. In 1900, he commissioned Blum and Voss to construct such a ship. This would be the world's first ever cruise ship. It was named the Princess Anne Victoria Louise, named in honor of Kaiser Wilhelm II's daughter. The Princess Anne Victoria Louise was launched on June 29, 1900, and what a grand occasion it was. Now remember, these early cruises were targeted towards wealthy travelers, and so she was designed to look more like a private yacht rather than the commercial ships that existed at the time. She contained 120 cabins. All were first class. All the state rooms were luxurious. Reportedly, the Kaiser Wilhelm II came to examine the ship. He suggested some interior modifications that should happen and Balin instituted these modifications. In the end, there was a library, a gymnasium, a dark room for the development of film by amateur photographers. All of this was powered at a steady 15 knots with a quadruple expansion steam engine. After fitting out all of this and looking at the ship, the Kaiser was slightly unhappy because it was bigger and more grand than the Royal Yacht. 
Now at this point you might be wondering, what does a German cruise ship have to do with Jamaica? Well, the story continues. On December 12, 1906, the Princess and Victoria Louise left New York en route for Kingston, Jamaica. This was going to be a promising voyage. Can you imagine? They were leaving in the dead of winter, headed for the warmer tropical climates of Jamaica, destined to have a good time. On the night of December 16, 1906, Captain H. Brunswick saw the Plum Point Lighthouse near Palisades, but thought he was looking at the lighthouse in Port Royal. He entered the harbor, traveling north at 14 knots. The ship hit and climbed onto the rocks, bow first at 2130. The engines were dislodged and the frame plates were shattered. Luckily, there were no casualties. Other ships from the line were sent to help rescue the passengers and they were able to safely evacuate all the passengers to land. However, Captain Brunswick was so distraught by the damage to the ship and all the lives that he put at risk that he returned to his quarters and committed suicide with a gunshot to the head. A German court found the captain negligent in May of the following year. The ship was determined to be a total loss on December 19 of 1906 and sank in a sea quake in 1907. A Jamaica Gleaner article dated December 19, 1906 is quoted as saying, the heavy seas have been breaking over her pitilessly from the time she struck on Sunday night and every effort proving unavailing, she has now been abandoned and left to her fate. And that was the end of the Princess and Victoria Louise. This is a story of how Jamaica and Jamaican history cross paths with the first ever cruise ship.